good Josh boy Ross back at it again with another video so just finished watching the Smackdown live stream with the homie dub on the main page if you were in this uh in uh in the stream and in, in the chat thank you to everyone that was a part of that we really do appreciate that but we got to talk about pretty much the main event in the show the the highlight of this whole bloodline saga we got to get into that so as the show started off Jimmy and Jay pull up they meet Paul Heyman Paul Heyman's like yeah the tribal chief uh, is, is so proud of you he's glad you're back and you know pretty much Jay's like you know I you know I gotta you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about what's going on or whatever and then uh interviewer was asking trying to get some questions or whatnot from uh Jay on why he betrayed Sammy he said I'm gonna answer everything <clears throat> when I get out to the ring later on that night and then Jimmy chimes in and is like yeah man and you know what I'm saying we're gonna have to talk about what Cody did why he's getting involved in the bloodline business like that ain't what's up so obviously they're you know alluding to um they're having hip they are having issues with uh Cody coming out there for the save against Sami Zayn on Monday Night Raw so we get to the end of the show <clears throat> they come out and pretty much Jay uh he pretty much said I had to do it this this wasn't I didn't really have a choice here Jimmy is my brother and Roman was going to take him out Roman was going to have an issue with Jimmy if he wasn't if Jay didn't get you know come back and I like that because he didn't outwardly say I did it for Roman or anything like that no he pretty much said I did it for Jimmy he pretty much said I did this because I wanted to make sure Jimmy didn't get get in the crossfire of this whole situation and then he also brought up the fact that sammy you're selfish you're selfish you only care about yourself you was gonna let my brother get got you don't care about us you're not family you're not blood you you know all you had to do was fall in line but you didn't he's family he's blood and it makes sense jay would have jimmy's back <clears throat> and that's the 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 potential other storyline that they, they can have here and hopefully maybe roman and jay have a little bit of a, a conversation and and i hope jay is the one to say you know what i didn't do this for you honestly i did this for him because i already know what you're capable of i did this to make sure jimmy was good and i i, I hope they they really expound on that story because i think that's another layer to this already fantastic story that they can really add you know it going full circle Jay and, and Roman having some issues. So then Jimmy gets on the microphone. <clears throat> he pretty much starts uh, talking down on Cody Rose. And Cody Rose said, I've heard enough. Cody came out there in his best Sunday fit and said, hey, I heard you talking about me. And I ain't here to do all the talking. He started taking that suit jacket off. I'm here for some fighting. And, you know, we was waiting. We was waiting for the hoodie Sammy to pop out crowd was chanting sammy throughout the entire promo they wanted to see hoodie sammy <clears throat> boy they got them some hoodie sammy and we got a brawl the usos was brawling with um with um sammy and um cody rose all throughout the arena you know i, I enjoyed that i enjoyed that it, it got the show hyped and i really like that what they're doing here is pretty much cody is trying to he sees what we all see he sees the bloodline is at their most vulnerable right now. And the time and opportunity to take them all out on all fronts is now. The question is, <clears throat> when will Kevin Owens get involved? That's the only thing we're waiting on. We got a few more weeks left. Kevin Owens will get involved. There's going to be a brawl. And there may be a situation where Cody is getting beat down. And maybe Kevin Owens come out. Either way, I can't wait. <clears throat> and I hope Cody is the one to bridge the gap between Sammy and Kevin and be like, look, we know that we can't do this by ourselves. No matter how much we want to try, how much we believe we can, the bloodline can't be taken down by themselves. They got to be taken down as a team. I understand y'all differences, but if y'all don't come together, if we don't come together, the bloodline will retain. The bloodline will be just as strong and there'll be nothing that anyone can do to stop them. So we need to come together 
and take them down at WrestleMania. And no, he's the perfect person to give that rousing speech because Cody's really good with his words. So I think that's going to be the ultimate thing before we get into WrestleMania this year. Cody trying to get Sammy and Kevin Owens on the same page so they can go after the bloodline and we'll go from there. So comment down below. Let me know, did you guys enjoy this segment? Did you guys enjoy the brawl they had? And are you looking forward to even more story developing between Cody now getting involved in the bloodline business, Cody potentially being the one to bring Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn back together, and also Jay not really doing this for Roman, but Jay doing this for his own brother, Jimmy. Let me know how y'all feel about all these things. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I am still getting to speed the YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. And your Intercuts World Heavyweight Champion. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.